definitely when rumors started floating around about R. Kelly and Aaliyah being not only involved, but potentially married, uh, music writers I knew were put off. But on the other hand, you had this whole history of uh, adult male musicians who hung out with young girls. You had the history of, of you know, musicians who mentored young girls. You had the history of musicians who married young girl fans. And I think while it was disturbing to people, um, it's very easy to rationalize things. And it's very easy to rationalize things when uh, you're a music writer who's a fan of someone's music, or you're in the industry and you see this flourishing career, not only of Kelly, but of Aaliyah. So I remember very distinctly when news started to break around R. Kelly and Aaliyah, uh, some people expressing questions not about him, but about her. Like, does that tarnish her? What does that mean for her career? You know, is she, even though, you know, I think now with hindsight we can see she was exploited, you know, is, is she perhaps not the kind of uh, artists that we want to be promoting in our publications or, or other media. Because that's the thing. The, the man often would walk out of these situations scot-free, but a woman who's been marked by a sex scandal, that's forever.